Well, hey there friends, how are you today? My name is Angela and I'm the inquisitive farm wife. You could find me out in the barn working with my animals, maybe in the kitchen baking up something delicious or elsewhere. Whatever we're doing today, I'm just so glad that you chose to join me. I'm feeling a little nostalgic. So I'm going to bring you a recipe today that my grandma taught me, deviled eggs. I was invited to participate in an open collaboration, hashtag old fashioned recipes. And I thought, well, yeah, I think I'll do that. What you need to do is boil your eggs, just however you like to boil them. I didn't do the old fashioned way today. I used the Instapot, but that's okay. And my grandma, would have peeled hers differently. She would have boiled them on the stove top and then she would have gone and we would have put them in the water, which I did, I put them in cold water for a few minutes. And while still under the water, she would have peeled those eggs. And you know what? I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna go back over to the sink Okay, that made it a little better, but I have to be honest. The reason that these don't look very good, peeled, is my own fault. What happened was I got sidetracked by something else. And instead of getting to the eggs while they were still warm, I let them sit in the water too long. And then the eggs kinda don't look as pretty. So, lesson learned on me to share with you. But I'm still gonna go ahead with this video and I'm gonna show you that you can take ugly looking eggs and still turn them into something good. <clears throat> My grandma just used simple tools, things that she had around the house. You know, an old fashioned recipe is one from those who went through hard times, maybe back in the depression even. And they just used what they had and they made it work. So I'm just taking a butter knife I'm cutting my egg in half, and then I'm putting the yolk in my bowl here. But you might notice that my eggs look a little on the small side. Well, that's because I have chickens that are called bantams. They are tiny little chickens. They're just little miniatures, but they still lay delicious, yummy eggs that we like to use and it's really fun to make deviled eggs out of them. So see, they're just little guys. This one's really goofed up. It's okay, it's still gonna taste great and my family's still gonna enjoy it. This is a treat that my son absolutely loves and I just don't make very often. So I'm sure he will have no problem gobbling several of these up. So here on my granny's egg tray, I have all the egg shells. It's actually the egg whites, but in our family, we call them the shells. And inside here are the yolks that's going to become our filling or our stuffing. And the way grandma always did it was just with a fork. Yep, simple. So we'll just take this and we'll push it against the side until we can get it in the teeniest, tiniest little pieces we can. We're just basically kind of fluffing the yolk. I don't know how my granny got it so perfect, but hers was always way creamier than mine. Somehow I managed to always get a few chunks in there still. I suppose my son would tell you that maybe I just need to practice and make them more often. He could be right. Next, she would add mayonnaise. Now, we don't have measurements back in those days. Sometimes it was a pinch of this or a dash of that, but you bake and cook and make recipes from your heart. So my heart tells me this much to start with. It's starting to come together, but we need to add some just yellow mustard, nothing fancy. None of that 
um, flavored stuff, just a little bit of plain yellow mustard. Oh. Maybe that much. Okay, half a teaspoon. And her secret, a lot of people used vinegar back in the day, but she would put a dash of pickle juice or so. Oh, it's starting to come together. Ooh. And you just kind of use the fork like you would a whisk. Until it's nice and creamy. What do you think of that? Does that look good? Looks pretty good to me. Now, it's just time to fill them. If you want to make them a little fancier, you could put them in a Ziploc bag and pipe them out. But this is the way grandma did it. So this is how I'm gonna show you today. Tell me, do you save your pickle juice and do you use it in recipes? If so, tell me down below what you use your pickle juice for. Did your grandma teach you how to make these? Maybe it was your mama or your aunt. Maybe you're not from the same area as I am. I'm in Kansas. Maybe other states do it differently. Maybe you live in a different country and you do it completely differently. I would love to know your tradition of how you guys make deviled eggs in your area. Yep, just like grandma's. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna have a little bonus here. These are the way my grandma made them, but I'm gonna show you something a little extra the way my aunt taught me. Paprika. I couldn't find the regular, I don't know. We've gotten to where we eat Hungarian paprika on almost everything, it's delicious. But a regular paprika would be a little brighter, but she always would sprinkle just a little bit on top to give it a little more color. Gosh, guys, thanks for hanging out with me while I made this side dish for supper tonight and got to participate in the old fashioned type recipe collaboration today. Till next time, friends, we'll see ya.